Now, let's prove that we will actually construct a perpendicular bisector of a line segment if we employ the steps taken by the two Girl Scouts in the video. Oh no! No split time! <laughs> Don't worry, Maurice. I promise you won't get a no split. We'll see. Anyway, let's recall the steps first. You have the straight edge, as well as the compass. Suppose we have a line segment with endpoints A and B. We draw two arcs of radius R with centers at A and B. Let's label the intersection of the two arcs as P and Q. We then draw a line passing through points P and Q. Let's label the intersection of AB and PQ as D. Let's now construct triangles PAB and QAB. Are the lengths of the segment AB, PB, QA, and QB the same? Yes, they are. That's right, Shay. And what is their length? They're all the length of R. Very good, Maurice. This makes triangles PAB and QAB isosceles. Are these two triangles also congruent? Yes, ma'am, by the side-side-side side criteria. And which sides are you referring to? Well, AP is congruent to AQ. BP is congruent to BQ. And triangles PAB and PAQ share a common side AB, which is, of course, congruent to itself. That's three pairs of corresponding congruent sides. Very good, Tongs. So if these two triangles are congruent, what does this say about four angles at A and B? They're all congruent to each other. Very good, Leia. Now consider triangles APQ and BPQ. Are they congruent? Yes, they are. AP is congruent to BP. AQ is congruent to BQ. And they share a common side PQ, which is of course congruent to itself. Therefore, by the side-side-side criteria, triangles APQ and BPQ are congruent as well. You're right, Jay. So if these two triangles are congruent, what does this say about the four angles at P and Q? They're all congruent to each other as well. Very good, Alaya. Now consider triangles APD, BPD, AQD, and BQD. Are these triangles congruent? Yes, if we use the angle side angle criteria. Let's consider triangles APD and BPD, for example. Angle PAD is congruent to angle PBD. Segments AP and BP are also congruent. And finally, angles APD and BPD, which are also congruent. Therefore, triangles APD and BPD are congruent. By the same process, you can show that all four triangles are congruent. Excellent, Maurice. Since these four triangles are congruent, what can be said about segment AD and BD? They're congruent. Oh, I see. So PQ does bisect AB. But is PQ perpendicular to AB? That's an interesting question. Can anybody answer that? I know. The angles around D should sum up to 360 degrees. Now since triangle APD, BPD, AQD and BQD are all congruent, 
This makes each angle around me one fourth of 360. And 360 divided by 4 gives us 90 degrees. So all these angles are right angles. That means PQ is perpendicular to AB. Very good, Doms. Now that wasn't so hard, wasn't it? Yup, no nosebleed. That was interesting. We learned how to construct the perpendicular bisector of a line segment with only a compass and a straight edge. We also proved that what we constructed was indeed a perpendicular bisector. Hey guys, could you help us out? Why? What are you guys up to? We are trying to mark out a volleyball court using the lines we made last year. Yeah, but someone erased the center line for the net. Can you help us out? So <laughs> the center, center line. line. We need a very long rope. <laughs> yeah, so Come on guys, let's find some. Let's find one. Let's go. There, up.